This week in Wiley Plus, we're going to look at two exercises, 2-2 and 2-5, to make sure we've got a good start to this semester. Uh, I'm just going to pick one at random. Let's look at January 11th, where uh, we billed customers $1,800 for services performed. Before you even start this, I think it'll be wise for you to prepare and, and put the journal entry and the T accounts off to the side and look to see how you would actually do it and then answer these questions. So real quickly, I'm going to bring up my uh, T account sheet in my Excel document. Just take a second as I bring this up. All right, here we go. Now, remember the two questions that we, like, that we need to ask ourselves for the debit and the credit question. The debit question being, what did the company get? Well, we typically would get cash for services if we performed it, but it says we billed our clients. So it's not quite cash yet, but it is cash we hope to receive at some point in the near future. So hopefully that tells us that this would be an account receivable. So let's, uh, let's, get, let's insert the amount here in the account receivable. I'm going to go back and check it. It was $1,800 in my example. So I would put in as my debit here $1,800. And again, it's always good to, to check to see if that makes sense. Remember on the, any of the assets, anything on a debit, as we'll scroll up to the top here, is a plus. And we've got to think, does it make sense to, that my customers owe me a positive amount of money? And hopefully you would say it does, because it would be very weird if our first entry was a negative. They, they would not owe me a negative amount of money. The only time there would be a negative there is when the customers pay me back and they no longer owe me. So that was my debit. What did the uh, business get? And we decided it was we're going to be getting money in the future from our customers, so that's an account receivable. And then the second question is why, um, how, why or how did I get it? So why or how did I get an account receivable that my customers owe me? Well, I got it because I did my job. It said I performed my services. And if I do my job, we call that revenue. So I would put my credit answer over here. And that makes sense, too, because a credit in the revenue account is a plus. And it never makes sense to have a negative revenue. So always, pretty much always, we're going to have a credit for any of our revenue accounts. Now, I, I have it here in my generic form of sales revenue. We could easily change that to service revenue or whatever other type of revenue we're talking about. So we now know my debit and my credit is uh, account receivable, which is an asset, and revenue, which is or service revenue, which is part of the revenue account. And you'll want to be able to bring this page, if you're doing this off the side, back up, because we'll need to remember the plus minus, or in this case, minus plus for revenues, as we answer the questions. So let's go back to our Wiley Plus screen. Bring that up. There we go. Now that we know we have our debit as account receivable and our credit as service revenue, let's go ahead and fill in these answers for the 11th. So it asks us, what's the basic, and here we're looking at, I should start out here, by this is, this is broken into two categories, so the credit and the debit here. So the debit is going to be A through D, and our credit is going to be A through D on the other side. So the first thing it asks us is, for our debit, what's the main parent account that the account receivable is going to fall under? Remember how we talked about the parent account is the main equation at the very top in our uh, accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And then remember how we talked about revenue and expenses will eventually fall into the owner's equity. So anytime we have a revenue and expense, we're going to call that the stockholder's equity as well. So for August 11th, our debit was account receivable, which is an asset. The specific account, we did that. That's an account receivable. Remember, if you just simply type in a couple letters, use the drop down because if you do happen to misspell it, it will be counted wrong in YA+. And then the third question it asks us is, whether the specific account is increased or decreased. 
So was our accounts receivable, did we get a positive amount of money owed to us, or did people pay us back, basically, and have a negative amount less owed to us? And hopefully you, it's pretty obvious that we had a positive amount. Our, our accounts receivable was increased. If you look at the plus minus on the T account, that shows you that. And then our final question is the normal balance. And remember from class, we talked about the normal balance is always on the plus side of the T account. The plus side of an account receivable as an asset is on the debit side. So that's what we would answer. Now as we scroll over here to the credit, as we look at the credit side, our credit was a revenue account, a service revenue. Well, revenues fall technically under the stockholder's equity if we're looking at the shortened version of the accounting equation. Our specific account was indeed the, the revenue, and we're going to call that what it is, the service revenue. Let's go over just a little bit more. Our service revenue account, when we, um, when we did it on the credit side, that was an increase to our revenue, which makes sense. And the normal balance of our revenue account where the plus side is, is on the credit side, which is where we happen to have our entry. Now, um, for, all, for all revenue accounts, we're almost always going to increase it, and it's all going to be on the credit side. But for our accounts receivable, this could, we could actually be decreasing it at some point if one of the questions says we received money from customers on account. Well, our actual, when we, when we do the journal entry, the account receivable would be over here as a credit, and we would be decreasing our account receivable because people are paying us off of their bill. However, the normal balance will always be the same, and it's a debit. The normal balance is where the plus sign is. Now, the, the, the second one I wanted to go through on this one, which is um, a little tougher, because it involves what's called a contra account. I didn't really want to introduce contra accounts this early in the semester, but since the um, Wiley Plus assignment has it, we need to go ahead and look at it. A contra account is any account that is backwards from its parents. And that's what dividends are. Dividends or drawings, they mean the same thing. A dividend or a drawing is backwards. So an owner's equity account is a minus plus, a minus on the debit side, a plus on the credit. However, the dividend is backwards. A dividend has a plus on the debit side and a credit on, or a negative on the credit side. So let's go through this last one here on December 28th. So again, I'm going to bring up my Excel sheet here in just a second. So we can uh, view and actually do the T account and we could do the journal entry as well to see how this um, transaction will be laid out. Then we can much easier answer these questions. So the question was the, um, declared and paid a $500 dividend. So let's bring up our Excel sheet. Okay, the debit here is what did the company get? Well, they provided a dividend. And notice here on my T account sheet, I put that we should not have anything over here. And I put it in red, the account title, because it is a contra account. Contra account means it's opposite than what the parent is. The parent has a negative for the debit, and the credit uh, has a positive. Well, over here, when we take money out of the company, $500, I'm increasing my dividend account. It is a plus minus. However, in the big scheme of things, underneath the owner's equity, it's still treated as a negative. Because when you take money out of the business, you're taking equity out of the business as well. When you put money into the business, you're adding equity. And here again, we're taking money out, so that's a positive number. That makes sense. But overall, we are decreasing our equity. So our debit there was 500, and then we asked, how or why did I get that 500 in the dividends? Well, it came from my cash. I would assume that I, the company's already had lots of cash transactions in the past. And so we're way down here somewhere all the way at the bottom maybe, and we need to show that the company is paying out $500. Therefore, my cash account will be lowered 
which makes sense here on the negative side, by $500. So my debit was dividends, which is a contra account, and my credit goes to the assets. All right, now let's fill in the, um, the Wiley Plus questions. Go down here to the bottom. When we had our debit as dividends, that falls under the owner's equity. This is the actual account, our dividends. And then the third question here says, let's go back up and make sure we have it right. How did this specific, how is this specific account, is it increased or decreased in this transaction? Well, remember our dividends went up. We paid out money to our owners. And the normal balance to a dividend account where the plus side is, is a debit. So we increased it with a debit, and that makes sense. That's where our normal balance is. Our credit was to the cash account. Cash is an asset. So we're going to credit our cash, the actual account. Cash in this transaction actually went down. We credited it. However, the normal balance, what, what would increase a cash account would be a debit. Remember, that's always what they're looking for on the normal balance. Where's the plus side on the T account? The second question, oh, let's go ahead and submit this just so you can see what it looks like when it's all correct. If this is one of your first assignments ever. Of course, anything in red is what you missed and you can go back in and change. Anything in green is locked in, meaning you did it correctly. And so you always want to, you don't want to submit until you have them all answered, of course. And then you can go back and adjust anything in red. The last thing I wanted to look at was exercise 2-5. And I wanted to go through two of them on this one as well. Let's, um, I'm going to skip down and let's do, let's do August, uh, October 27. We're paying $1,208 on the balance related to the transaction of October 3rd. Okay. So we're back up here, we put money on account. It may be easier if we go ahead and just do uh, October 3rd instead. Let's, let's do that one instead so we have a, and then we'll come, and, uh, you can use the 27th on your own. So we purchased office furniture for 20, uh, for 32.69 on account. Okay, let's uh, go down here to the third. <clears throat> now I ask myself the two questions. What did the company get? That's going to be my debit. And hopefully when you look at this, you think, well, the company got furniture. That's exactly correct. Now, you may, you may go down here and you may type in office furniture and you think uh, nothing's popping up. Or you just type in furniture and there's nothing, no drop down. That should be a clue right away that that isn't one of the accounts that they're looking for. What you want to do instead, if, you, if you're not sure what account to use, go down here to the bottom and go show list of accounts. So when, when we bring this up, we can look down for, well, what, what makes sense that would go here if it's not called office furniture or furniture? If we look through all of these, remember office furniture falls in the PPE category, the property, plant, and equipment? Well, this would be a type of equipment that we're going to use. So that's going to be our debit here. So we're going to type in uh, equipment. Use the drop down that tells us we're in the right area. We put the debit in of $32.69. And again, I would, until you get real comfortable with doing this, have a T account sheet off to the side. Put a debit in to the equipment underneath the assets. Does it make sense where, how are assets affected as by a debit? Do asset, are assets generally increased by a debit or decreased by a debit? Or are decreased, yeah, by a debit. So we, when we look at our T account, you'll find that on the debit side is a plus. So whenever we uh, debit an asset account, a normal asset like equipment, that's going to be an increase. So it makes sense. We got a positive amount of equipment. It would not make sense if we showed that as a negative first. The only time we want to show equipment as a credit is if we get rid of it and sell it. 
So the second thing is then, if we already asked, answered the question, what did the business get? That's our debit. Our credit question is, how did the business get it? How did the business get the equipment? Well, they got the equipment on account. They didn't pay money yet. They'll pay it in the future. And hopefully we know by now if something's on account, that is called an account payable, which is a liability. And if you look on your T account sheet, liabilities are increased with a credit. So it makes sense that I owe a positive amount of money to my vendor, whoever that would be. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you on this problem is, remember, we talked about all transactions in accounting must get recorded, but the rule with that is it has to be an actual transaction. When we look at October 2nd, this is kind of a trip one. What happened here is we hired an assistant. Okay, well, did that assistant do any work yet? No, nope. so I can't call it a, a wage and expense because they haven't done anything. I don't physically have something that I own. It's not like it's an asset. So when we just simply hire somebody and there's real no dollar amount that goes with it, we want to do what this uh, in the red says here and simply for October 2nd put in no entry and a zero for the dollar amount. Just because we hired somebody, nothing really happened transaction-wise for the business to show that money was spent, a service was received, anything like that. So we just put in no entry. Okay, that, um, that finalizes everything I wanted to look at for this week uh, in the Wiley Plus. And we'll be, uh, I'll have next week, and we'll have a couple of things to look at as well. So with that, um, if you could, if this is on, if you're viewing this on a YouTube video, uh, Either show me that, um, hit the like button, you can subscribe to the channel, or email me. Let me know if this was helpful or if there's anything you'd like to see different. Um, that helps me um, know if I should continue to make these videos. All right, I'll see you next week.